1860, Lier. While digging a canal, workers came across some giant bones, which they sent to the museum. In 1868, Louis de Pol, a young taxidermist, designed a custom iron frame which allowed the skeleton to be mounted upright without having to pierce holes in the bones. The missing bones were replaced by wooden replicas. A year later, visitors came from all over Europe to admire this giant from the Ice Age. At that time, the only other woolly mammoth on display was in St. Petersburg in Russia. We know this mammoth was a male because of his long tusks. The wear on his teeth indicates that he was between 30 and 35 years old. They were perfect for grinding down the grass he ate. <clears throat> it was a woolly mammoth. A 10 centimeter layer of fat and a long thick fur coat protected him from the snow and cold of the grassy steppes where he lived during the last ice age. Mammoths and humans were contemporaries. Our ancestors chased these animals for their meat, skin, bones and ivory.